<laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy, board games, war games, 18xx. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by y'all because it's solo week for the most part this week. And today, busting out the quintessential midweight euro, or we've been calling it that for a number of years since it first came out, and that is Rococo, designed by Matthias Kramer, uh, Stefan Malls, and Louise, Louis? Louis, we'll go with Louis. Louis Malls, and published uh, the Deluxe Edition by Eagle Griffin Games. Now, we've streamed this, I'm, I'm positive of it, that we have streamed this previously, but never solo. And I'm not sure that the original version of the game had a solo version. In fact, I'm fairly certain it didn't. So I'm looking forward to doing this. This has uh, been one of my all-time favorites for, well, since it originally came out. It has a unique theme. Uh, there's not a lot of dressmaking games out there in the board gaming world, and I thought this was, thought this was cool. Um, I dig it. And, I mean, obviously Ian O'Toole crushed it with the artwork in this one. It is, it is perfectly garish in just the right ways that it should be being as it's about making uh outfits ball or uh dresses and men's coats uh for a a, a ball for louis the 15th i keep thinking it's louis the 14th but it's louis the 15th and uh yeah so there you go so welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact i apologize for the late start full confession i had a uh I had a mocha. I no longer have a mocha. It went everywhere. Split the cup. The whole, it, it was a mess in here. It was ugly. So that's why we got started a little late. Uh, the nice thing is we have two dogs, one of which loves cleaning up messes for us and helped out. But the wall behind me over here was, ooh, it was ugly. But hey, here we are. And in the end, that's all that matters. So yeah, this is the first time I've done the solo game. It's been a while since I played Rococo, but I will say, um, there's a handy dandy little refresher, like here, that I'm gonna be using, cause I'm not gonna do a full teach on the front end. We're just gonna uh, do an overview and get into it. And I will step through uh, Madame Duberry, that is the AI. So she, Madame Duberry, will be uh, trying to beat our brains in today and we'll see how we do. So without further ado, if y'all are ready, I'm ready, and I just realized I forgot one component. We'll get that here in a minute, but as it is, provided everyone's ready, let's go ahead and bust this out. All right, welcome to the Rococo era. Didn't know it was an era. Louis XV reigns in France, and in its height of fashion to attend the lavish balls where important luminaries dress up extravagant in extravagant gowns and fancy frock coats all eager to surpass one another in elegance and grace. In just a few weeks, Louis XV is hosting the final grand ball of the season, and everyone is clamoring for you to provide them with an elegant frock coat here, a sumptuous gown there, or even maybe a small sum to fund the great fireworks display. You quickly realize it's not just about your tailoring business anymore. It's about creating a presence at the most prestigious ball of the era and the chance to gain everlasting fame and prestige. So, Rococo, all right. So what is it we're looking at here? Well, on the main board, uh, th this is a double-sided board. This board, uh, it's one to three, and then I believe it's four and five on the other side. So this is the one to three side of the board. The other one just has more of what it is that you're looking at here. So as it is, the board is divided into five different rooms in which we're going to be placing rental dre uh, dresses and, uh, and coats. So we have one room, Louis XV's room up here is two, three, four, and five. Then we have some statues, which we will be able to uh, have decorations in. We will be able to fund the decorations for victory points there. And then uh, kitchen decorations, which are going to help us with income uh, during each round. Then there are musicians we can fund in each of the rooms, which will afford us uh, victory points as well. 
So that's the main part of the board. We have the first player marker or the queen's favor down here. These will be new employees in which we'll be able to hire as we go along. Then we have the actual dress and coat display. These are going to be the blueprints, if you will, um, the, the, uh, to be able to create or rent out or sell, the, uh, either rent or sell, these outfits, which I'll see these once we actually get started with the game. Then there will be bolts of silk out here into these three drawers, which we'll be able to use to then create the coats and dresses down here. Then at the very top, let me grab my handy dandy little pointer. Thank you, Martin. At the very top, we have the fireworks display up here, which we'll be able to fund those. And then provided we fund them, we will be able to place dresses and coats up here for end game scoring stuff as well. Then there's a handy dandy little bonus area over here once we have a presence in all five rooms. And finally, we have the end game uh, scoring uh, notes or, 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 or steps up here. And of course, victory point track around the outside, well, at least around the top, around the bottom there. So that's everything there on the main board. Then we have our collection of thread, which these are metal and these are amazing. Uh, and then we have lace. So thread and lace here, which we'll be able to acquire, which will help us make these dresses and coats as well. Then we have our tableau over down here with our markers, our ownership markers here. Uh, we start with 15 livres, 15 bucks. And then we have one uh, bolt of thread, not bolt, one spool of thread and one piece of lace. And then Madame Duberry has her deck of cards. She has her starter deck, which this is simply going to be for end game scoring here. Her player board here. She starts with uh, one thing of thread, one of lace, and she starts with the metal thimble, which is the first player marker as well. Off camera, we have the bank and we have two bags. So we have the bag of dresses and coats, and then we have the bag of bolts of silk in here. And we will be seeding those shortly. Now the game does come with the jewelry expansion, but since I figured this is the first time we're playing this solo, I thought we'd play just the base game. Uh, the festival uh, dresses, I believe, are in the bag, so if those come out, those come out. And then if there is enough interest and for me to do this again, we will go ahead and bust out the jewelry expansion as well. All right, so that's everything you're looking at. Oh, and, and also the uh, deluxe edition here also comes with a handy dandy little tray, which holds all of your bolts of silk here, which people can know uh, how many you have, but ne you don't want them to necessarily know what you have. So this is here, but since solo, we don't need to worry about that. And the thing that I forgot is we need to be able to track Madame Duberry's points and ownership. So I didn't grab a color for Madame Duberry. So if you will excuse me a moment, let me grab those out of the bottom of the box. I don't know how I forgot that. Good thing I'm wearing pants today, huh? All right, so I have this kind of cattywampus right now, but Oh, I lied, I did, uh, the festivity dresses, I did not include in there, but the jewelry expansion is right there, and it, I mean, it's an Eagle Griffin, so of course it has a fancy, uh, fancy insert. So I think, I think we'll go with purple, I think purple will show up pretty well with this, so we'll go with purple for Madame Duberry. All right, shall we? A moment. Can't believe I forgot that. Sheesh. So how is everybody today? Hopefully y'all are doing well. We'll move that back. Ow, stretching still hurts. All right. There we go. And she probably would appreciate getting on the proverbial scoreboard. There we go. Yeah, I think th that'll show up pretty well. All right. All right. So let me, uh, there. <coughs> so funny story, I think. Uh, Tony and I recorded the uh, podcast uh, for the podcast for next week's release. We re just recently recorded our review of Obsession. Obsession. And when we did so, I had Rococo out here on the board or on the table getting ready for today's stream. And it was pretty interesting talking about how uh, theme 
uh, driving me mechanisms and such, and found that really compelling uh, to be able to compare and contrast for Coco and Obsession. Thought that was an interesting thing. But anyway, nonetheless, l I digress. Let's move on, shall we? All right. So, how do you play Rococo? Well, it's a the quintessential midweight Euro, right? It's, it, it's mechanically a very simple game. So, it's played over a number of rounds, and each round has the same structure, okay? And that structure is there's going to be step one, which is prepare for a new round. Step two is going to be uh, selecting cards from your deck. Step three is going to be performing the actions. And then step four is receiving an income. Rinse and repeat over and over. Now, with that said, it is going to be a little angled for y'all, but here are the various steps, okay? So phase one, all through here, preparing for the next round. Phase two, drawing, or not drawing, choosing three cards from your available draw deck here. And then phase three, is going to be the meat of the game or the actions that we can take in the game. And then phase four is getting income. So let me go over each of these briefly. I'm just going to list what these are. I am not going to go over the details of them until we actually get started in the game. But here we go. The first thing is if you skip this in the first round, but if anybody is taking the queen's favor, i.e. they get to be the first player marker, move the first player marker, pretty simple. Then we are going to discard any existing new employees from the uh, from the board and draw four new ones to be able to be hired by the players. Then fill in any spots in the jewelry, uh, I'm sorry, not in the jewelry, in the uh, bolts of cloth, in the drawers. You do not discard any existing. And then finally, we go ahead and slide, uh, discard the far too right the far too right dresses and coats, if there are any, slide to the right and refill. Okay, easy enough. So that's preparing for the new round. And that's why I haven't done so yet, because that's technically part of phase one of the first turn. We're actually going to do this, this, and this when we go. Then we are going to draw three cards, or choose three cards. Now, everybody has a starting hand of five cards. And each of these cards, you know they're your starting cards because they have that symbol up there in the top right-hand corner. And there are three different levels to each of the cards. There is a master, a journeyman, and an apprentice. And that is going to be signified by both the color of the card, so you can see that that's silver, that's going to be a journeyman. A master is going to be gold, and an apprentice is going to be bronze. The reason that matters, and in fact, I will go ahead and do it this way. Uh, the reason that matters is because A, not only are they going to have um, restrictions on what it is that they can do, they're also going to have bonuses on what you can do once you have done the main action. More on that in a little bit. But the important thing to remember is there are three different levels and you never draw, you choose. So if I want a master, a master, and an, uh, a journeyman, I can choose that. But what that means is for my next turn, these two cards are going to be left and then I'll be choosing one from these as well, plus anything else that I may have acquired that round. Okay, so choose three cards into your hand and then perform one of the available six actions, all right? So these actions are, and I'll go ahead and I'm gonna bounce around a little bit, is claiming the queen's favor, i.e. become first player and get five livre, okay? But notice, no apprentice can do that. No bronze colored, okay? All right, acquiring resources, that is going to be this one. That's going to be able to get bolts of cloth as well as thread and lace for you. You're going to be able to do so. You're going to take one and it may cost you some amount of money. Okay, anybody can do that. Easy enough. Then the meat of the game is going to be tailoring a garment. Now, you'll notice, again, not a, uh, an apprentice may not do this. And there may be certain outfits that only a master can create, but more on the details of that. That's basically going to use some of the bolts of cloth, possibly some lace and some thread that you've acquired to then be able to, you know, put a uh, rent them or sell them, either get a lot of money or uh, end game victory points there. But that's going to be the main thing that we're going to be doing throughout the game. The next thing is going to be hiring uh, a new employee. Notice this is master only. 
So gold only, so no journeyman, no apprentice. That's going to cost some amount of money, and here's the cool thing. Unlike most deck builders, where you get a new card, it goes into your discard, this one does not. This immediately goes back into your hand, which means you're going to be able to take a fourth or possibly a fifth action, depending on how many you've hired throughout the turn, but you're gonna be able to take additional action this turn, okay? And that's going to cost you some amount of money, likely. All right, so there's that. Then there is depute employees, i.e. fire them. You are the weakest link, goodbye. But you do get to use the bonus on the card, more on that in a little bit. But when you depute, it is removed from the game, not into your discard. So this is how you thin your deck. And finally, there is funding a decoration. It's gonna, anybody can do these. As you can see, anything that doesn't have a limited thimble on it, anybody can do it. It's going to cost you a bunch of money and hopefully either get you income or end game points. Then finally, the end of the round is you're going to get income, so you're going to get five livre, and on top of that, any decorations you funded in the kitchen. Rinse and repeat, do this until the end of the game. So there you go, that's how you play it. Now, obviously, Madame Duberry is going to take her turns as well. We'll get there when we get there, though. Okay? All right. So I have taken tea bags out. I decided oolong today. I just, no real reason other than just sounded good. So oolong, cheers, y'all. All right, and Lars confirmed the original didn't have solo. I, I didn't think it did. So, all right, cool. All right. Hi, Mom Gamer. By the way, you know what? I haven't put it on the board because I was waiting for you to come back. So, a moment. There you go. Mom Gamer, welcome back. Thank you for the support. Cheers. Thank you very much. All right. So, like, subscribe, and Mom Gamer went to, as you can see, patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. Support the show. Certainly appreciate it. Both Jess and I and the herd in general appreciate the support, y'all. All right? All right. Cool. So, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, over under on Glory to Rome's. I don't do a lot of them, but Madame Duberry, three and a half today. And who's going to win? It's simply who scores more points, Madame Duberry or us. Place your bets now. While you place your bets, I'll go ahead and start phase one, round one. So here we go. Return the favor card. Well, we skip this in part in round one, and then draw new employee cards. Now, out here, the employee cards, this is a Shuffled deck, but it is a, a shuffled in a particular way in that there are seven different phases of cards. Phase sevens, or uh, uh, round sevens on the bottom, six, five, four, but they're shuffled within that, so here we go. All right, and you know it's one because it has the one up here in the corner. So these are the employees that we're going to be able to hire, and by we, I mean us and Madame Duberry, okay? So those are the available employees that we can hire. So you see that there are two apprentices, a journeyman, and a master available. And in fact, because there is no sliding, they just simply get discarded throughout the game, or at the end of a round, we'll just go ahead and do like so. So we'll always have the apprentices, the journeyman, and the master over there, okay? All right. Um, and briefly, no, I'm not gonna go over those right now, so never mind. All right, next. We have to add the resource tiles, okay? So, the resource tiles are going to be all down in this area, okay? All right, so, here we go. And three more. Obviously, I'll straighten these out, but there we go. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. It is beautiful weather here in the Boston area, so that's kind of nice. It's been very rainy and pretty nasty here of late, so that's a nice change. Hopefully everybody after the stream gets a chance to enjoy some sunshine, or if it's already past that point, hopefully you did enjoy some sunshine. So we'll go ahead and start it here. Oh, other way, other side, there we go. Two more. All 
A lot of green, huh? Orange is the most rare color in the game, so FYI, but there we go. Everything is seated, we are ready to go. So, without further ado, and I wanna make sure that I get this right for Madame Du Barry, so a moment, because Madame Du Barry is the first player. So, the first thing that happens is whenever in phase one, we actually shuffle all 25 cards in Madame Du Barry's deck, so we'll do that. Oh, nice, Eric. First day of vacation. Enjoy it. Excellent. Smoking first brisket during the stream. Oh, my. Corey. Wow. Enjoy. That's fantastic. All right. So, ah, doesn't matter how much vacuuming you do on these tables, they still end up a little schmutzy. Schmutzy. Easy for me to say. All right. So, that's done. Then... When we select employee cards, uh, Madame Duberry actually draws four cards. So she is going to get four cards, one, two, three, and four off the top of the deck. Those are going to go into her hand. We'll uncover those here in a little bit. But for us, we get to choose three cards. So a moment while we, hmm. oh, there it is. That's where I put it. All right, I wanna make sure I get all of that. There we go. So, here is our hand of cards to start with. And I thought now would be a good time to go over our cards, our starter cards, and all of the starter decks are identical, okay? It, other than artwork-wise, but functionally, they are all identical, all right? So let's go over uh, the anatomy of these cards, but also um, talk about the starter cards in particular. So, obviously, they're starter cards because they have our symbol, in the top right hand corner, and our, our, our color, I should say. All right. So, obviously, we have apprentice, we have a journey, two apprentice, a journeyman, and two masters. Okay. So, they can do any of the six available actions that they are allowed to do, right? Because obviously, for hiring, only masters can hire. And for instance, for uh, actual creating garments, only journeymen and masters can do that, so uh, they cannot, so they're kind of the errand folk as it works. But I digress, they can, we're going to choose three of these to keep into our hand, then we're going to play one each turn. After we have taken one of the six main actions, again, getting resources or tailoring or, or uh, hiring new employees or whatever, then, or if we choose to do nothing, which almost never will happen, that, think of this as the main action area. After we have either done it or not done it, then you may take whatever the bonus action is. And the bonus action, for the most part, is going to be pretty self-explanatory for a lot of these. Ian did a very good job of making this uh, pretty, pretty obvious. So after you have done whatever, then you can get to Libra. Or or for instance, this uh, apprentice, you may then take a get resource or get uh, get silk slash lace and thread. So basically get that action. And you could choose the, let me get the name of it, the acquire resources, and you could acquire resources as a second action as well. You could double that up. You could do two different, whatever it is you want. You'll notice the masters, these two masters that you start with have no bonuses because they're masters. Okay, so you don't get to do anything special other than do things that masters can do. And finally, the journeyman says, one time you may spend one livre and either purchase one lace or a spool of thread. There you go. And lastly, there is a number uh, or a number shown of livre in the bottom left-hand corner. And what that is, is whenever you take the depute action, you may depute and get that amount of money in addition to getting whatever the bonus is on the bottom of their cards. Now the game does warn you, you don't want to depute your final master because only masters can hire new employees. So be careful with that. Usually masters you're not gonna depute, usually, but I digress. They are worth 10 livre a piece. Uh, also, you are not allowed to drop your deck down below four cards. That's the last thing. All right, so those are our cards. So we have to choose what three cards we're going to take. And I think, I think uh, we're going to try and hire an employee. So we're going to take one master into our hand for sure. And then 
We'll probably try and make something if at all possible. So if we're going to try and make something, so that's going to, he's going to be used to hire an employee. I think we're going to use our journeyman to possibly try and uh, create a dress. And then we're going to need somebody to say, get some resources as well as maybe buy a dress. I'm sorry, uh, get some resources. So I think we'll go ahead and grab that. So these two will go back into our uh, supply of cards for next turn. And you always know what cards you're going to be able to use. So these are gonna be face up in our tableau and we're done with that phase. Does that make sense? Okay. Brioche sliders and so, wow, Todd. Excellent, all right, all right. So now it's Madame Dubarry's turn. Why? Because she starts with the all-powerful thimble. Okay. So one at a time. So we're going to take one of her cards. We're going to put it up over here. And that is going to be her first action. And she is a terrible, terrible human being as far as I am concerned. Okay. A moment. Let me fix something. There we go. All right. Okay. So... She has four action, uh, sorry. No, she has, yeah, she has pretty much all the actions that she can take. This action is going to be hire a new employee, okay? Now, Madame Dubarry will never have Livra, but she will acquire cards, she will uh, acquire lace, she will acquire thread, which are going to be g useful for in-game stuff for her, all right? So this card is going to determine exactly which, oh, you know what? I just realized I can't do what I did earlier. So we actually had it out to where it was like this. I forgot, we cannot do that. That's the way the cards came out. That's gonna be important to keep it that way because Madame Dubarry, this is going to dictate where she, uh, which employee she hires, okay? So in this case, she's going to take the card from the far right edge, okay? And she just acquires it and acquires it for free. Never pays money, never gets money, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this is going to be for, uh, just goes into her employee deck, all right? Also add a face down card from her card supply to her hand of cards. This means Madame Dubarry will have another turn this round, okay? So what does that mean? So this card says she's going to hire a new employee, the farthest one to the right. So she is going to hire this one. This one will go into her employee deck, which really doesn't get used there, but she will get another action just like we would get. So we're just gonna put that to the bottom of her hand there. There we go. And then you'll notice that there is more information on this card. This is whenever she's uh, making dresses or anything else that's going on, it's going to coincide with which of the five rooms is going to come into play. And then this area over here is gonna be used for the jewelry expansion, which we are not playing as it is. But there we go, okay? All right, so there we go. Yeah, and not, 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 uh, not cheating as far as uh, manipulating, uh, keeping the master from her. Just I forgot, I can't move. The order they come out is the order they come out. So that was, that was bad on me. So my bad on that. So this will go into her discard, and her discard will just go there. Boom, done. That's her first turn. Okay, so now it's our turn. And we have those three cards. I think... Yeah, we'll, we can go ahead and zoom in on this. Well, there we go. All right. So now, what do we want? I really would like uh, the master um, to hire a master. I don't think we're in a big rush for anything else. There's only one master out there, so I think that's what we should do. So this master is going to cost us some amount of money. Now, we start with 15 livre. And you'll notice over here, if, there are, if it's full, it will cost us five. If there are three in there, it will cost us three. If there are two in there, it will cost us one. And if there are only one, it's free. So if there are three left, it will cost us three livre. This master will be ours. The bonuses are nice and everything on them, but uh, let's face it, we're going to take the master. The master goes immediately into our hand. That one will go into the discard. There's no bonus in which to give. And then we have to pay three livre for that.
Boom. Done. That's our turn. And now it's Madame Duberry's turn. So I think what I will do, since it's just, let's see if we can get this. Oh, buttons. Try that again, shall we? All right, there we go. So we're going to, how about we do this? These are our hand cards for the round. And then as we draw Madame Duberry's cards, we'll bring hers down to the bottom. I think that's a better way to do it. All right. She is going to tailor. So here we go. Okay. So she's going to take the fourth from the right edge, and she's going to tailor that one for free. She doesn't pay any cost. She doesn't spend any resources at all when she does so. Okay. A moment. Hold on. Okay, these are always going to be rented out, and I'll talk about that here in a minute, but it's going to take the fourth from the right. One, two, three, four. It's going to be this one. So the rented one, we're going to flip it over here, okay? Then we're going to have to look where to place it. So it's going to be that dress, and it's going to go into the bottom left room, as you can see there, okay? However, it's going to be the most valuable space that's available in the bottom left hand room. Okay. And if multiple spaces are available, you're going to choose uh, the one with bonuses. The first one is a resource tile. The second is thread or lace. The third is money. Okay. And as it is, she will get a resource tile there and that's it. Let me double check one more thing. Okay, that's it. So it's going to be in the bottom left hand room, which is going to be this room right there. So the most valuable space, okay? So most valuable space is going to be, well, uh, if available, choose a master space. If multiple spaces are available, choose one with a bonus reward. Well, there are three master spaces. Must be created by a master. Well, as it is, Madame du Barry, they, yeah, that's the rules. If it were for us, it would have to be created by a master. But as it is, it's those three spaces. That one has a bonus on it. So that will go. She doesn't get any livre for that. And we're going to put a marker, ownership marker, because it's rented out there. For Madame Duberry. And boom, done. There we go. Easy enough. That makes sense. Pretty simple, I think. So then this card will go into her discard and boom, done. Okay. Uh ho oh, 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 hold on. You're right, I take it back. Reveal one new card. So this card will determine the location. I spoke wrong. This one says it's going to be in the top right hand room. That's right, it's not on the same card. Thank you, Lars. Gah. So it's gonna be in the top right room. So the top right room is going to be that room, which in this case, master space and will get a free draw She will get that in addition. Thank you. Good catch. So that's just going to go into her area like so. And then she's done. Thank you for the catch, Lars. All right. There we go. So she is done. Now, what do we want to do? Now, we do have a master here. So we could hire more if we so desire. But I think the first thing that we're going to do is we need resources at this point. So I'm thinking we go ahead and acquire resources. Now it is going to cost us some amount of money. So let's go ahead and show this. Um, so we're going to choose this card and we're going to acquire resources and then we're going to acquire resources. So we're going to do this twice because of the bonus. But what is it we want? Well, 
let's look at the available dresses and coats. And when I say dresses, I'm using that for coats as well, right? So you'll notice, take for instance this one. It requires a bolt of pink silk, a bolt of blue silk, and a piece of thread, okay? And when you do so, when you uh, choose to create a coat or a dress, you're gonna have to pay this amount down below, and you must discard whatever it shows. So, it, looking at it, that does have both of what we need, as does this one, there. The thing that's listed on the back, or on the bottom, is either thread or silk, or possibly thread, uh, not silk, thread and lace, or none, some say either or. When you choose to acquire this, you either acquire it for the silk and you keep this tile or you discard it and you instead get whatever is pictured there at the bottom. In this case, it would be both of those. Um, so let's see, there's no orange silk out here whatsoever, so we can't create that coat at all. And also, if we were to say use this uh, bolt of thread or bolt of silks, for this, you do not get change. So I would be overpaying something like that. Same with if I were to get this one for that dress there. But what do we want to do? We could I mean, we could grab something like, I don't know, these two to get that and then we could sell it for $22 and not worry about the money uh, but it's actually only 17 but it's still 17 but I think it would probably make more sense to do this which that would be 12 yeah um what do we do what do we do what do we do uh Well, I think we're going to go ahead and purchase this one. You're allowed to purchase one uh, from one drawer. And so here, it's going to cost us $2 for the first one. So we will choose this one. That'll be 2 bucks there. And then as the bonus action here, we can do it again. Now you'll notice if we choose either of those, it would cost us $1. If we choose any of the other, it will cost us $2. Um, we have... Uh, we're in, you know what? I think I will pay the two bucks. So a moment while I make change. So turned in my 10, got my eight back. And I think we'll go ahead and take the double blue. And this is going to give us a lot of flexibility for what, and we're keeping it at, we're not taking it for the bottom. So boom, done. That's our turn. Done. All right. We have two actions left as it is, Madame DuBerry's turn. Madame DuBerry is going to fund a decoration. Okay, a moment. So, the kind of decoration that Madame DuBerry is going to fund, uh, let's see, this is going to be a musician. And we know that because it has the list of musicians shown right here on it. If we were playing for the jewelry expansion, that would come into play. But as it is, it does not, so we don't need to worry about it. But it's showing the musicians, okay? The card determines which decoration, all right? Um, she places it under the least expensive unoccupied decoration space as stated of the type for free. All right, so now we need to look at the board for the musicians. All right, so I'm not going to zoom in on all of them, but I will zoom in on, say, one of them here, okay? So each room has musicians. So you can see that there's going, they're going to be out on the outer edges of it, uh, the right-hand edge for three of the rooms and the left-hand edge for one of the rooms. So the least expensive, so you'll see that this one costs $17, but is worth four points, right? So nine and costs... Or, and is worth two, 18 and four, and then 13 and three and eight and two. So it sure sounds like eight and two is going to be the cheapest musician and done. So you can see once we go through this, 
her turns are going to be extraordinarily uh, um, oh, fair point. I didn't see it. You're right. I would have grabbed this one because more options. You're right. Thanks, Dimitri. All right. Anyway, um, so Madame Dubarry's turns are going to go relatively quickly now. So for us, what do we want to do? We have, re I, I think we, I think we go ahead and make an outfit, but which outfit do we, I think that's what we're gonna do. Hmm. I really love the idea of getting more employees, though, since we have the master. But, and none of these are master garments. Maybe I do go ahead and hire another employee right now. We can always depute them later for money and whatever the bonus is, but it gets us an extra, gets our engine going a little bit quicker. I think it will. Um, hmm. Cause they can fund decorations for us. I think I will. So I'm going to go ahead and play the master to go ahead and hire another employee. And the master is going to get us another dollar or another livre. Now, I have eight. It actually only cost us one, as you can see there. So I'll spend the one that he would have given us because I have plenty of money. And do we want an extra? I think we will. I think we'll take that one, which will give us an extra uh, it's for free. We get to draw a uh, resource out of the bag. I like that idea. So I will take that and done. Madame Dubarry's turn. And Madame Dubarry says she's going to hire one. Well, pretty simple. Okay. So this will go there. This will go there. And then because she hired one, she gets another card under her stack. She's done. Okay. So, Uwe. All right. So, we have two actions left now for us. And I think before we create an outfit, I think we go ahead and get some more resources. But what do we, I think we get a decoration uh, in the kitchen staff. So, this is going to get us, it's going to cost us nine, but I think it's early to do so early. So we are going to actually create or purchase a decoration. We are a dollar short. Okay, we'll do it the other direction then. Instead, we will go ahead and create an outfit with the journeyman. So now the question is, which one do we go ahead and create? So we have three blue, a pink, and two green. But... The two blue that we have here, ideally, a blue and a green, I think it's worth it to do that. I think so. So I think we're going to go ahead and spend both of our uh, tiles and go ahead and create this one. So first off, we're going to have to pay the five livre, which leaves us with three. So they're paid. Then we have to discard the three bolts of silk and the one thread. So... One, two, and three blue, there, and our thread, done. So now we have created this dress. So now we can either put it in a room, which will gain us two points later on, and it's a blue dress, which is going to matter for uh, reasons later on, okay? But I think instead, instead of putting it out in a room and renting it, I think we're just going to go ahead and sell it for the 22 lever. When we do so, this goes into the discard. This does not 
go back into the bag. It just goes back uh, off to the side here. So, there's our 22. I'm happy with that, okay? That works. How did that happen? We're a little cattywampus. There we go. All right, so uh, that was here. And then, on top of that, now we get to do the bonus at the bottom. And the bonus here says for a livre, if we wish, we could purchase a silk or a thread. Well, we just used our thread, so why don't we spend one of our money and go ahead and grab a thread. Boom. All right, add it back to our supply. Done. And that card goes into our discard. Now, Madame Duberry is going to tailor something. All right, so it's going to be the fifth from the right. You skip empty spots. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. So she is going to create this one. It is always going to be rented as we have established here. So it will flip over to there. This will get discarded. She's going to draw one more card for the location. And the location is going to be the bottom left. So this is what we were going to do earlier, okay? So there, we'll grab one of her ownership markers. We will put it on the tile and it will go into the master spot with a bonus, and boom, done. And that card goes into her discard. Okay, makes sense? Pretty simple. See how it hums along pretty well? All right, so we have one action left. All right, so our one action here is going to be to fund a decoration, and we're gonna go ahead and spend nine for this. So that's four and that's nine. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the kitchen. All right, so the kitchen here has two sides. You're only allowed to have a marker on one on either side. And this is going to be, you know the open hand from a lot of games is whenever you get income, you get bonus income based on whatever it is. Um, you know what, we're gonna go the other way. We're actually gonna spend it, we're gonna only spend six. So I'm getting my three lever back because I sold the dress. This is get an extra dollar for every different color outfit that you have out on the board that you have rented, not sold. Well, I just sold that dress. So this is uh, get one dollar or one lever income for every decoration that you have funded on the board. Well, that'll be worth an extra income. That will pay for itself by the end of the game. So there we go. I think that's good. Okay? Cool? Cool. All right, good. The air, whoa, we're almost done. And then the bottom of ours says, hey, reach into that bag and pull out a $100 bill. Is that creepy that Bob Barker used to do that to anybody else? So, <coughs> we drew that one. Okay, now I believe I can fly. I believe that I am able to discard that for lace, but I'm not going to, but I believe that I can. Let me double check that for the bonuses. And it says so right here. Yep, you could. I could discard it for two pieces of lace if I so desire. I do not wish, I do not desire. So I will not, I will keep that. This will go into our discard. And our round is entirely done at this point, but Madame Dubarry cheats. Oh my lord. I'm gonna make some dresses. All right, or outfits. So second from the right, second from the right is that one. We will draw another card and it will go. So second from the right is this. It will go in the top left room. In the top left room, it does not matter which one. There are two master spots, so that one will go out there. Wow, she is crushing us right now. There we go, top left room, boom, done. All right, so those are the actions, and now receive income. We get five livre plus one for every decoration. We have one decoration. Boop. There we go, done. Prepare for a new round.
You're right. It's one per every dress and coat, not just one per color. I got that confused. You're right. Thank you, Lars. And why does, uh, Dimitri asks, why does the computer player need silk and thread? <coughs> A moment. I can answer that. Because there may be in-game cards that they acquire here that will get them silk and thread uh, points based on how much silk and thread they have. So there we go. Okay. Hey, Banker Dave. What's up? All right. So new round. Prepare a uh, return to favor card. Nobody took it. It stays here. So that means the first player marker stays there. Discard and draw employee cards. If there were any, all of these would wipe, but there are none. So we will just go ahead and draw out new. And the reason is, this is the timer of the game. And by this, I'm pointing at the deck. So here we go. And we'll always fill right to left to make it consistent, okay? So since I forgot that Madame Newberry does that. So we have a couple journey. Journey women, a journeyman. And there we go, all right? Uh, I suppose we could go over what those bonuses are uh, as those come out as well. So what do we have here? Uh, we know this one, take, uh, take another resource there. Um, this one is take a tailoring action. In addition to the main action, uh, and you pay one less pink or blue silk, I believe. Um, yeah, use one less, so that's awesome, okay? Then, let's see, this one here is, I'm looking. There we go. Uh, depute any one employee of your choice from your staff, including this one, and you get to use the uh, employee's bonus before discarding from the game. So it gives you a depute bonus action. That's going to be nice to be able to thin your deck. Okay. And the last one, this journeyman over here is uh, also depute any one employee of your choice from your, staff bef uh, from your staff before removing it, gain lever from the bank based on the employee type, eight, five, or two for master journeyman or apprentice, respectively. So a couple of deputes and we'll give you a bonus action or more money. Okay? All right. So those are the available actions to us for this round. We need to now add resource tiles just to the ones taken. We do not get rid of those that were already gone. So that's only going to be two. So it'll be there, double blue. And ooh, two pink and a green. Still no orange though. Then we're going to reseed this. Any that are here go out of the game, again, into our discard. So that one and everything else does the electric slide. I guess the candle slide, given the time period. So all this making sense, you're all able to follow along. Woo! There we go. All right, so now, uh, Madame DuBerry, we have to shuffle her deck. So a moment while I do that and I will actually shuffle, like a real shuffle, all right? Sort of. You know what, I'm not. I'm just gonna make a bunch of piles and shuffle it randomly this way. Okay, there we go. Mattern to Berry gets four. There we go. Now, we get three so we must take these two, which we already knew what those were. That was a master and a journeyman. I'm sorry, master and apprentice, which will get us two. But then we have no more cards here. So we get our entire discard back into our hand and all of these are available to us. So what is it we want to do? I think we need to get, uh, we need to get, uh, get going on putting out putting out uh, dresses, but we do have that employee that allows us to take an extra create minus a bolt of pink or blue. I definitely want that. And this master is clearly better than this one because an extra one. So we'll take that as our third one. And we're saving these for our next turn. So we will be choosing three of these for our next turn. Okay. All right. So those will go 
now face down, even though we know what they are, we're allowed to look through them, any of that, okay? Now, I also should point out that we already have uh, bolts of silk that can create that outfit right there without taking anything. But I very much want that employee right there, very much. More so than the deputing, I think, right now. Because I want to be able to get, uh, I want to get outfits out on the board, okay? So, all right. Done. All right. Uh, so, Madame Dewberry gets to go first because she still has the magic thimble. All right. First time we've seen this, uh, Madame Dewberry is going to gain resources. Let me make sure I get this right. This is pretty simple. Um, acquires all the available resource tiles from the drawer on the space into three drawers as depicted on the card. So you'll notice it is the far left one in each of the three drawers is what she is going to take because um, she's terrible. If uh, the depicted drawers or the draw spaces are all empty, she would gain three points instead, but instead, ugh. So she gains this one, this one. Go, yo, dog, hope we weren't wanting blue. And what they are don't matter. Doesn't matter? Don't matter, really? Doesn't matter, so we'll just make a stack right there. All right. Well, I've already said I really want that. Uh, so we're going to use the master that gets us a buck. We're going to spend five because it costs us five. We're going to get a buck back for his special action as well. So he will go away and he will come back into our hand right there. So now we know that we can make at least, we could theoretically make three, but we were short on, on material. So we need to get material now for the next turn. So that's our turn. Boom, done. All right, got him. There we go. So base it off of like 67, 68 right there. There we go. Okay. There. All right, so Madame Dubarry is going to make the far right dress or coat, as it were, in this one. Um, that is going to be this here. So we will draw for location, and that will be in the bottom right. In the bottom right, it will go resources first, if at all possible, and it is in this case. So here, in the master space, there, and there. Now, I also want to point out up here in the top right, the bonus, okay? So the bonus right here says, whenever you have uh, a marker, an ownership marker, be it decoration, i.e. musician, or dress, in each of the five main rooms, you get to put it down for the, for the bonus space. Well, um, I would like to point out that uh, Madame Dubarry has one, two, three, four rooms, I have zero. I like her chances of being able to take the sixth spot versus our us, but I digress. Okay, we can make that right now, and I uh, it's worth 50, no, stay on target, and it's free. So that's free. So we could grab resources and then create one, or just create one. Hmm. Um, I'm going to need that a moment. That fell. What do we do? I think we go ahead and create... Oh, man. Well, here's the thing. For a master space...
You know what? We don't need, none of those are mag, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use him to create the pink or a blue. That will get me one for free. That will be a green. That'll work. Okay. Blue or, yes. So we're going to create an outfit. We're going to create this outfit here. So let's go there. So move that here. So we're gonna create this outfit, which is going to be use our thread and that there. And it's free and we're going to rent it. So it's going to be worth the two points. We're going to forego the 15 uh, livre. So these will go back into the discard, the supply respectively, and then we're gonna put this out. It cannot be in a master spot, obviously, but I don't think I want it in a master spot right now anyway. So I think we're gonna put it up here into King Louis's room. And the reason is, let's see, we have lace, yeah, we're good. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here, which is going to get us one extra resource tile, a bolt of silk of our choosing for free. So then we're going to come on back down here to this area because this discount is going to give us a blue or green, I'm sorry, a pink or blue uh, that we don't need. So you know what, how about we choose that dress? I think that would be awesome. So we will take this one into our supply. Then as our bonus action, we get to create any one outfit. So we will use that for the green. The blue is free, we don't need. And then our lace that we have, we will use and we will create that, but it will cost us one livre. And we will also rent this one. So that will go back into the supply. This card is now done and a masterful done, a uh, masterful job by our journeyman, okay? Um, so it's going to be this dress. Now the question is, where do we want to put it? I do not know. We do not have any silk. We do not have any uh, lace or thread. But I think getting, I don't know, putting that here, which will get us another resource, another uh, silk. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna go here, but we're not gonna take it for the silk. So we will put a marker out there, okay? There, and then I think what we will do actually is it's going to come down to one of those two. This will give us a lace and a thread, which is awesome, but we discard the tile. Or we could take the pink and uh, green. Now the thing is, if you notice, the pink and green doesn't help us with anything out here. So I think we will take this and we'll discard it and we'll get the lace and thread. So one of each by discarding it and that comes into our supply. That was a pretty damn good turn, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. I felt good, okay. So, all right, Madam Dewberry's turn. All right, so first time for taking uh, the queen's favor. She gains three prestige points and basically keeps it from me, so. This is just gonna go there, which means she's going to keep uh, the first player marker and she gets three points. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Cool, yeah. I think that was uh, actually a really good card for us, for her to draw, for us. Cause we're not worried about it right now. I think that's all right. Okay. Excellent, 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 excellent. Now, what do we do? I think we use the master to go ahead and grab a journeyman, I think, and that'll cost us three. So we'll use the master, that'll cost us three. There. And which one do we want? 
I like the idea of being able to depute, but also being able to get more resources right now seems really useful to us because um, we're out. So I think, I think we go here. Maybe that's short-sighted, but we'll see. And that comes into our hand there. All right, done. Madame Duberry's turn, her final action, hopefully. All right, she gains, oh, what did, I hit the wrong one. Let's try that again, my bad, y'all. Uh, she gains all the resources there in the middle, which there are two. Boo, that sucks. That's a stack. All right, well, at least she's done for the turn. Now we have these two. We can grab all of those with that card if we want. We have no way to make dresses because we do not have those resources. Because there's pink, 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 and green. Okay. We can't hire them. So what can we do? All right, what can we do? We can get those resources. We could fund some decorations. Um, you know what? Actually, how about we fund some decorations? I like that idea. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to spend 10. Well, actually, 9. We're going to use him to fund here in the kitchen, the other side of the kitchen. Now that we have a couple of dresses out there that's going to get us now, that's going to get us four extra income every turn. Okay, Two for this because one, two, and then two for this right now because we have two dresses out there, one, two. And we get a de uh, rebate of two back per his card. Done. That was good. Okay. So, okay, so looking at this, we could get a resource. That one actually looks pretty good with the bonus, so I think we're going to do that. Another decoration, we could depute somebody. Eh, we can't create, uh, we could, no, we can't make a dress because we don't have the resources. We can't take the queen's favor, and we can't hire. So we're either going to take this resource, or we're going to fund another decoration, which is going to be uh, we have nine. We have nine livre to our name. Um, we could fund this one and that one only. That is all we could do, but that would be all our money. But we're about to get, that would be 10 livre back. Uh, and we get that bolt, those bolts of cloth. I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll spend the nine that we have to fund a musician. So that will go right there, which is going to help us here as well. And then as our bonus, we get to go and take that for free. That seems good. That'll do. We'll see if that was a bad idea or not. All right, so that's the end of the actions. Now we're going to receive income. So we get a base of five every turn, and then we get one per decoration, which is going to be one, two, three. So now we're at eight, then one per dress, nine, 10. So there's our income. That's cool. All right, next round. Return the favor. She keeps it. Fine. Okay, she got her three points. Discard the employees. So these will go out of the game permanently. And we draw four more. What do we have here? Uh, for every two decorations, get a point when you play that. Which right now we have three decorations. It's worth a point whenever we play that. Eh. Ooh. A master says, whenever you play this card, uh, when you get to this point, for every blue dress and green dress out there, we will get one or two dollars respectively. We currently have a green dress, so that would be worth two. 
right now, currently. And it's a master. This master says uh, I would is uh, one one point one dollar per decoration. We have three, so that'd be three dollars every turn. And finally, we have that one, which I actually have to look up. Is it for every three dresses or three outfits out there? You get one. Yeah, for every three garment tiles you have on the game board, you get a point, one prestige point. All right, not so bad. All right, so we will choose ours in a minute. Uh, we need to shuffle hers. So again, just making piles. Just randomly throwing these out. And yes, you have to shuffle all 25 every turn, but it's quick, it's no big deal. Okay, so there's that, and then we'll just do a quick. All right, so four, one, two, three, four. All right, <coughs> and here are our choices. Yep, you'd think it. You'd think I remember this. All right. Well. Master begetting a master, I think, is a good idea. So we're definitely going to take the master. I think we take the journeyman. And we need resources. So, oh, I totally skipped a step. I got to I gotta reseed the market and everything. I'm failing. Um, well, hold on. You know what? Both of these will get us stuff that we need. So maybe we go with those three. I think we go with those three and we keep the journeyman off to the side. So those are going to be our three. And yes, I realize I'm out of order. A moment. Cheers, Drew. Have a good evening. Afternoon, day. Okay. All right. So uh, we need to reseed up here. I forgot to do that. That is lace and uh, thread only. Okay. That is a pretty crappy drawer. Three more. A moment. There we go. All right, so there's that. Okay, we got employees, we got that, and now we need uh, outfits. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so the, there's nothing here to discard, so these just slide on over, like so. A moment while I shuffle these up. All right, there we go. And how many we have? Three, one, three. A lot of blue. All right. Not a lot of blue uh, fabric out there either. So, all right. Well, Madame Dewberry begins. Why? Because first player still. Here we go. these over you would think I would remember where to keep those centered all right uh, gonna hire a new employee from the left all right great uh, all right so that not so bad for us so this will go up there this will go into the discard and she gets a fourth action or a fifth as it were so there we go our turn Well, we're, yeah, what do we have? We have pink, pink, green. The fact that there are two masters and I kind of like them both, I would love to be able to grab them both, honestly. Um, 
but I don't know. I don't know if I should be focusing because this drawer is so terrible and I can't make anything yet with it. Well, no, I can, I can, but it costs five. That's the problem. Oh, there's no green out here for that dress. There are a bunch of blue, but blue is prohibitively expensive because there's been no orange silks that have come out and those are going to go away now. Oy vey, what do we focus on? It's three decorations, it's three bucks. I think we do that. We'll pay five for the master to go away to hire his cousin. That's currently worth two. Could be worth more with all the blue dresses out there. But current, I don't know. Let's go with this one. There we go. Because short term, boom, done. I think that's the right thing. That's tough. Um, yeah, it's tough. Tough call, but like it. All right, let's go with it. All right, Madam Dewberry, what you got? Oh, yeah. Okay, taking all the th all the fabric on the far right on all three of them. So that will go there. So this, this, and this. That is a massive stack here. I realize you're looking top down just... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fabrics. Or, yeah, bolts of silk. Um, okay, now that, now that she has done that, I think it's time to grab fabric and we need to grab a lot of fabric here. So we will use this to grab two things of fabric and getting the two blue in one of, ooh. I think we're gonna spend one lever total. So that's gonna be four back. So what that means is we are going to get either both of those or both of those. And the fact that we have the two pink right here. Yeah, let's go with both of those. So we got one for the regular action, which costs us one livre. And then the bonus action was free to take the last one. So there, boom, done. Oh, there was only, oh, you're right, it was three, so I get two, two lever back. Good catch, peanut gallery. Oh, that's helpful, because now we can actually pay to make that coat. So that's good. That's really good. All right, Matter Newberry's turn. Right, because there were only three cards here. It gets cheaper, duh. Hey, all right, well, she's going to take the far right employee. which means at least it's not the one we wanted, but this is the part that hurts. She gets an extra action. Well, that one's now free. So we're gonna play him to grab another master. I mean, it's, it's hard not to, right? So he will go ahead and hire this one for free. So this one will come back into our hand. And then it's going to be, we're going to get decoration money, so that's going to be an extra three because decoration one, two, and three. So we not only hire another master, but we get three out of it. So there's a five, put two back. Done. All right, Madame Duberry's turn. She's going to fund another musician. And you know what? A moment. Yeah, okay. It's consistently least expensive. So, least expensive musician out on the board. Okay, let's see where this will go. So, the, so we have 13, 18, 17. Sounds like 13 for the musician. Boom, done. And she still does not have anything in this room. When she does, she'll get that. But all right, but she doesn't right now. So now, what do we do? Obviously not hiring. We could go ahead and make this. 
And it's made by a master, so it could pay for itself, and we could put it right there. That might not be a terrible idea, actually. You know what? I talked myself into it. Let's do it. So he is going to create a men's coat. All right. So let's see. So we need two pink. and So there's the two pink, obviously, and a thread. We have our thread. Boom, done. It costs five. We do have the five, but save us a little bit of work. We're going to go ahead and put it right here because it's a master. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it right here, and it gives us our five back. So it just saves me one step of exchanging money. I wonder if they eye each other and be like, ooh. Like, I feel like this is a Macklemore song. You know, wearing the same shirt. Anyway, you get the idea. In addition to that, uh, what do we have out there? We currently have one green dress out there, so it's going to get us an extra two livre out of the deal, too. Boop, boop. Done. All right, uh, Madame Duberry. An ultimate action, hopefully. Oh, cannot hire. So I believe she gets three points when she cannot do that. Yep, three points instead. Because there are no employees to hire. There we go. All right, excellent. And our final action. So, okay, so let's go over what we can and can't do because he is an apprentice, right? We could get some bolts of cloth, which is very tempting, legitimately. Could fund a decoration or musician or something, but honestly, we don't have the money to do the 12. No, we don't have the money, so we can't do that. And we cannot do any of those three things. We can't hire, A, there's nobody available, but only masters can hire. The queen wants nothing to do with an apprentice. And an apprentice does not know enough to be able to create a garment. Could depute somebody. But honestly, I don't think I want to right now. And I can't afford to do that. So I guess that's what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and grab some resources. Okay. It's going to cost us one, regardless of where we take it from. So we'll pay our one. Okay, easy enough. All right, so can y'all wait? Can y'all? Oh, you can't see it, but hold on. That's our silk that we currently have. Obviously, this is going to be definitively better, so it's going to be one of those two. There's going to be a lot of blue, so I think I think we take the two blue, right? Now, the only thing to keep in mind is we have a lace, but we do not have any silk. I'm sorry, any uh, thread. The other option is we could take the two lace because something like this would require, eh, no. Now, I think we take the two blue. We paid for it and done, okay? But we do get the bonus at the bottom, which is free draw, woohoo! Draw well. What do we got? Ooh! Just, just in time for the oranges to go away. Awesome. Because <laughs> those two are going to go away, so that's done. But it was still a pretty good draw. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay? All right. There, 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 there. Yeah, all right. And, and, mm, I don't want to jinx it. Never mind. All right. She will take all of it in the middle, which, okay. So she will take this one. Done. I will say, I do love how quick the AI goes. Okay. All right. So we are done with our action. So now we get income. Our income is a base of five. 
plus the bonuses. Decorations, we still only have three, correct? We have one, two, three. So we are now at eight, and then a dollar per dress, or a lever per dress. So we're at eight, nine, 10, 11 lever. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and five is 20. Done. All right. Nobody took the favor? We don't. Okay, so we don't have any of that. There we go. All right. Uh, no employees to discard. Here we go. Fund a decoration, but at a $5 discount. Awesome. Count how many cards you have and you're going to get that amount of money based on how many cards you own between your hand, your discard, and your draw deck. Uh, a discount of two dresses or two bolts of green for um, creating tailoring. And that is identical to this. Less money, master, more money, apprentice. Dun, 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 dun. All right. And now we will do here. Hey, Wolf. Spain in the house. There is, and it's quite good, I will say, thus far. All right. And we have found the, uh, the batch of orange silk, apparently. Just in time for the orange coats to go away. All right, so those are done, but unfortunately, boop, boop, those go away. Sadness. But we get three new outfits, garments to make. What do we have? We have, oh, had it on the right side. All right. Oh, by the way, I guess this is the first time last round had it as well. Oh, wow. You'll notice if it has a master thimble at the top, that means it must be created by a master. I think that's self-explanatory, but figure out how to point that out. All right. So that's done. Now, Madame Dewberry, we will shuffle. Every day shuffling. Uh, that's mostly right, Lars, not entirely right. So something that Lars said is, income's easy with both the kitchen statues since you just count all the markers on the board plus five lever. The exception to that is if you have a marker up here that for the bonus, you don't count that marker. That would be the one exception to that. You do count fireworks up there, but you do not count any that are there. Just, it's a subtle distinction, but it is important to point that out. All right, so one, two, three, and four. All right, so what do we have? So that is what we definitely have in our hand, which that's gonna be good because we don't have any thread. So that's, and then here is our deck. And by the way, um, for the cards out there, we currently have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That would be our twelfth card, which would be for the highest value. So we could depute one and still have the highest value. So just saying. Um, all right. So let's look at these. We have a lot of cloth, so I don't know that we really need this one. Masters are always good. I'm gonna actually separate. Okay. So let's look at the Masters. The Masters right now, that is worth uh, two bucks to us. That is worth three bucks to us, which is better than that, which is better than that, which is better than that. Okay. There, uh, pink and blue. Th any ones that have three blue on it are going to be beneficial for us because we have bolts of two. So I definitely think we bring that into play. Plus this will allow us to get more lace and thread. So I like those two together. 
I don't think we need this right now, but if we're going to power through some turns, then I think next turn, looking at a combo, something like that would be good. Um, that one is good. This guy is really easy to depute because he's basically useless to us at this point. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think all three of these are pretty solid for a later round, but not this turn, and that's not going to happen. So that means we're going to take a master. What master do we care about? This master, whoever we get, is going to hire, let's face it. And hiring... Probably hire the master, which then hires another one. So something that gives us some money. So that, I think, that actually would allow us... Not this turn, actually. We're going to save that. We're probably going to... We'll save that, actually, for next turn. So I think we'll actually use that one. So there we go. So that and everything else is in our draw pile. Those are our three cards to start the turn. Okay? All right. Excellent. All right. So, Madam Dewberry begins. Y'all following along? All this making sense? I hope. I think it's flown pretty well. Ah, that sucks. Glory to Rome. It's the first time it really burnt us on the hiring. So it's going to hire the first one on the left. So this will go as another employee. And unfortunately, grabbing a master from us. Damn it. Ha! All right. Now. I would like to point out, now that I, I'm not afraid of jinxing it, now that it's our turn, we have something in this room, this room, this room, and this room. We do not have something in the top left room. That would be the six-point bonus for us. I think we should do that. So that means we need to create a dress. Now that she has taken the most important one that we wanted to grab, um, so I think we go ahead and make a dress. All right, so, or, and by, again, dress or coat. So what do we, what do we do? So I will move these over so you all can see these in view. So what do we have that we can make simply? Everything that's out here, and we do not have any thread, we only have one lace. So... Mm. If I only want to use one of these, I cannot, I have to use the master. That's unfortunate. Because don't have thread, those two lace. Don't have thread, master. Don't have thread, master. Don't have thread, thread. So I could create this one. That is really expensive. But I think, is it worth it to guarantee myself the six point bonus or do we roll the dice? Because do we use the master to get us 14 bucks? But if we use the master, then we won't be able to create that. Nope, we're going we're gonna to forego hiring. Or our... Ah, damn it. This one would allow us to build the... Oh. Nope, it's a master, so we can't. Oh, that's sneaky. Or, or, or... Do we use him to grab some resources... And then grab some more resources. Ah, maybe that's what we do. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to get us some resources instead. 
I think that's what we do. Okay. All right. Well, we need thread, but we're going to be able to get a thread, right? Or, or we could get a thread and a lace, which would then free... I don't know. I mean, this one is pretty good for us because that we can do with a single bolt. Um, I'm not looking at lace or thread at this point then. It's just a matter of what can we get. And if we get this, we could then get that one and then get the thread. Oh, I like that idea and that could be anybody. I kind of like that idea. So I think he will go ahead and purchase this for two. So paying the 20, getting 18 back. And that'll be this one. And then he'll pay one more and get a thread. All right, not ideal. And it still might end up burning us a little bit, but I think that was the right way to do it. Yeah, I think so. All right, Madam Dubarry, what you got? All right, she's going to take all the resources in the left-hand pile. So good thing we grabbed it when we did. And now... Yep. Actually... Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get some more resources with this one because we're going to be able to create this here. With that, although we won't need it with that one, I think. Or maybe this one. I'm not sure which, since it's a discount. Either way works. Um, but what do we want to grab? Because we're about to use the thread. Do we just... I hate using it just for the thread, though. Or do we fund some fireworks? We have 18. I think we wait to fund the fireworks. I think so. So let's grab some resources. And since all of those are single bolts of cloth up there, except for that, obviously, I think we will, since we have a bunch of blue, we'll just discard this for the thread. There. And then we're going to need a thread for that and I think we use this one for that. There we go. Done, done, done. And we will rent this out. We're not going to sell it. This will go up into the top left room. And the top left room, let's go ahead and get the, the three livre, shall we? And uh, by my count, that's all five rooms. There, 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 and there, and ba da Woohoo! That'll do, pig. That'll do. Well done. Our best tailor. All right. And we could still hire right here if we want. So there's that. So flexibility. Excellent job. Good job. Us. Taking all the resources in the middle. All right. All 
That is a tower. Now what do we do? Do we, I mean, that's 14, that's awfully good. Or, oh, all of those are good, right? Be able to make a second outfit. 14 livra or a, a, a decoration discount. And I did spend the two. I had a 20, turned it to 18. So I think so, anyways. Um, or do we make something for the majorities? Even though there aren't any bonuses left for that, I think, I don't know what we should do. Extra actions are always nice. And money's too good. We're going to go in higher for three. It's just too good to pass up. There. Yeah. I don't feel great about it, but the money's just, I mean, a 14 is nothing to sneeze at. All right. Going to make the far right dress or outfit, which in this case is the dress. Okay. And that's going to be this dress there. And then let's draw another to find out the location. Location will be in King Louis's room. Good thing we did when we did, y'all. This will go into a master spot if at all possible. And there is. And now you get the second. So we stole four points, I feel like. So well done, us. All right. So. We can grab a crappy piece of cloth, no. We can fund a decoration or we can depute somebody. I think we're gonna keep her, but we're gonna depute. That. Because that was the one card that I, we, you know, we had, mention that was really, really crappy. So let me get into, since this is the first time I've done this, and it's been a while since I've done it, I want to make sure I get all of this. So deputing, uh, when you depute, you receive the amount uh, indicated in the bottom left. Okay, cool. That's what's pictured. Just want to make sense, or make sure. All right. So as the main action, we are going to depute him so he's going to give us four. And then we're going to count up all our cards, and we have more than 11 cards. So we're going to get a total of 18. And that's going to be her action. Okay. Um, oh, and, and an extra one for the last master. You're right. Yeah, I, w I really want to get rid of him. So there's one for the master for the last turn. So it's going to be 18. There we go. So out of the game permanently. Hey, Jess. Thank you. All right. And our round is over. Madam Dubarry will just grab one resource. The far left, far left, far left, but there's only one. In nope, nope, and yep. And done. All right. So here we go. So kind of like what Lars said, we, ha we get our income, a base of five. We ignore this one, but every other marker on the board, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus five, we get 12 livra. 
So that's 5, 10, 20. There we go. So we're at 46. So we're in pretty good shape with that now. All right, new round. No favor. These go away. And here we go. I think this is the penultimate turn coming up. Spend uh, four as much as you want, as many times. Notice it doesn't have a limitation uh, to buy points. Four bucks per point. That is obviously for pink and orange. So pink for us would be one, two, three. That would be six there. And orange, uh, nobody's been able to uh, rent out any orange. It would be a point apiece, so okay. Uh, maybe I misspoke. Maybe, there, uh, no, it's not the penultimate turn. It is, there are three turns left, including this one. For every two decorations, get a point. And, hmm, I don't know this one. This one is discard any number of resource tiles uh, that show that. For each thing you discard that's shown, you get a point. There we go. Okay. Wait, what? You can't choose an... Oh, depute this card. Oh. Okay. So, a moment. I screwed that up. I won't depute him. So I owe four bucks. There. And technically I don't have 12 of that, but I'll go ahead and buy a decoration instead. And I do have plenty to do so. So I'll spend, let's see, if I spend 22 for the high value firework, and I will, that'll be this one up there. And I have 20 left. There we go. All right, thanks. Yep. It's only the card. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Good catch. Good catch. Sorry about that, y'all. All right. So now we need resources. Bolts of cloth. Good catch, y'all. Thank you. Or, or... You know what? Give me two bucks back. I'm not going to take that one. Instead, I'm going to take this one here. And the reason I'm going to do this one, let me show you, is at the end of the game, you get two points for every different color outfit. That's what I had confused this with, but it's this one. And then you get uh, uh, one per decoration. Ah, uh, shoot. Hold on. Let me get let me get the terminology right on this. Two points for every different color garment on the board, um, and for each uh, thing that's on a, t on a statue on there. You earn two points for every different garment. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. All right. So, getting back to this. My apologies. Let's get this back over here. Bah. One short. Okay. And if your bag ever empties, then you take the ones that you discarded for, like, silk or lace or, or uh, for lace or thread and throw them back into the bag. But as it is, um, here's what's left. There's still plenty in there. Okay. And here are the ones that we've used that are out of the game, that have been spent already, that aren't back in the bag. All right. And then finally, nothing to discard. And two more. Uwe says I should have one more. So I should have 23. I'll take your word for it. Here we go. All right. So bonus money. Yay. All right. Madame Dubarry will shuffle. Oh, 
I was 22. That was 20. I gave myself two. I thought I was right. But I'll take your word for it. All right, good enough. One, two, three, and four. What do we have? Well, we have a lot of blue. We have some pink available. We have an orange here. Yeah, I think we're going to put out a bunch of outfits. So, I know I need at least one master. And none of the employee, the new employees are super exciting to me. But, I think that is a no-brainer for sure. We have a fair bit of resources right now. So... Maybe we go there and I mean, if we're going to go heavy on, on building since we have a bunch of resources and we have a ton of money, I think that's what we do. Yeah, we'll save the rest. So that leaves us two masters, two and three apprentices next turn. I think I'm okay with that. I think so. Yeah, I think so. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And those, uh, move those out of the way. All right. So Madame Dubarry is first. Take Queen's favor, score three points. All right, done. And I think we use, it's gonna be blue and green, or at least blue coming out. So I think we use that master to hire that master. So that's gonna be five. And it's going to be one, two, three, Four decorations out there for us, so it's going to be four back. So put that back and spend one. So that will go away, but that master will come back. And I think that's the only employee that we're really concerned about for this turn. More masters, that's a that's a good thing. So all right, Madam Dubarry, your honor, ma'am. Gonna hire. Throw this one to the right. Okay. So that will go there. That will go there. And this will come there. Her Tower O silk. All right. So if that's our last one that we really care about, now we want to go ahead and probably make some dresses here. What do we got? We have no discounts for anything. So what do we have? I mean, this one is tempting to be able to get a different color. I like that idea. We can use her for that. We have everything. We have plenty of money to do it. I think we don't overthink it. I think we go that route. So she will create this, which is going to be our lace, our, and six lira. There we go. Okay. All right, so where do we put it then? And we're not done with that yet. We could get Thread, now we're looking at majorities. That's something I haven't covered here, but if you take a look, so majority scoring at the end of the game here, the five and two will be for a five for first, and obviously if tied, it will go to master spots. So having a second one there, majority is better. Um, the, so the hierarchy is six, five, four, three, two. So priorities wise, we could get one there. 
We could get a lace here, which is awfully tempting since we just spent our lace. And looking at what we might want to build out here, lace makes sense. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it right there. And we'll get that lace back. So done. And then... as I was saying, and then she's going to get us one resource of our choice. You know what? Let me roll that back a little bit. Let's not take the lace. Yeah, let's take the lace. We're not going to roll it back. I'm looking at this, which would get us one of each, or that, which would get us one of each. Since there's no blue out there, I think we will do that. We might be more inclined to want the green here in a little bit for this, so I think we take that to make it cheaper. So that's gonna cost us two. Spend five, get three back. And we'll discard this and we'll get one of each. That seems like good use of our actions there. Madame Dubarry's turn. Okay, so she is going to build uh, the cheapest statue, which we already got the cheap one, thankfully, but now she will go ahead and take that one. Okay, done. Good thing we got it when we did. Okay. Now what? I think we create, we could do this one with a master. We could sell it, honestly. 22 is nothing to sneeze at. We already got a bunch of pink out there. I think we sell it. I think so. All right, so we're gonna make this one. And we are not going to make any other of those colors. We might, actually. So you know what? We'll use this one. All right. So looking at this, we need that has to be a master. It is there, and that'll be four there. And we're just going to sell it for 22. And then we'll score that in a moment. So that gets sold for 22, which that basically buys us that spot right there. All right, so now for every two decorations, we get a point. One, two, three, four. I think that's it, that's two points. Somebody's closer. All right, thank you for that. And Madame Dubarry is going to tailor the third from the right. Okay. So third from the right, one, two, three, that one. And let's see where she's going to do it at. Bottom left room. Okay. Bottom left room. Be a master space. It doesn't matter which one in that case. No bonuses. And done. All right, so for our last action, uh, we've already covered that we're not going to hire. I mean, we could do this one, but it's a ton of resources. It would cost both of those and both of those but it's free. Now, this is a five-pointer. We want to get this one out here to coincide with our, with our uh, 
So do with our decoration up there, which we haven't bought, do we go ahead and buy that? That's the only three times multiplier. I hate using a master for that though. That's the only thing. I think we do. And we really want to be able to get this. So this is the, this or this one. So hopefully we get some, we don't have the site. Yeah, I think we go ahead and fund that decoration. So that's gonna be 22. And now there's that. And then for blue and green, no, 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 green. Two bucks back, discount. And we're done. And I'll do the jewelry. I'll do. I'll do the. Uh, it does, uh, Barressa. Um, I will. I will include the uh, the expansion next time if if folks want it. So fifth from the rights. One, two, three, four, and five. So it'll be that one. And where's it going to go? Top right room. Into the master spot. All right. And done. All right, income. It's going to be five plus markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. 10 plus 5, 15. Okay, it was the plus 5 I was missing. All right, there's our income. And now, return the favor. She keeps it. These get wiped. New employees. Now it's the penultimate turn. One per uh, dress or coat that you have out on, on the board. So that'd be, uh, looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five for us right now. It's a master, too. And one point for every two. Decoration minus ten. Tasty. All right. Now we have gotten into the blue ones. These are endgame scorers. And that one says for every spot, every two that are on a master spot for you, you score three points at the end of the game. Okay? And there are four employees left in the game. Okay, and we're only putting out one new piece of uh, silk, and it will be that one. All right, and dresses, these will go away. Uh, those two are awfully tasty. Five pointers, because five times three is 15, which is better than 12. Okay, oops, dropped one. Oh, all right, we'll go with the drop one first. There we go. Two. And there we go. So those three are the, uh, and that one is a master. All right, so Madame Duberry, we will shuffle. Wade says, I find the solo to be pretty challenging. Madame Duberry is not to be snubbed. I agree. Have you thought about one or two player? Uh, yes, uh, William, all in due time. And what Christopher says, that the bottom right hand corner of Madame Dubarry's cards is for the jewelry expansion, which is pretty amazing that they did that. One, two, three, and four. All right, so let's see what we... Uh, we have a couple lace, we have one thread, we have a lot of blue. So what do we have? So we have nothing masters and those. So I'm leaning towards I think we use one master this turn and those two. Then we're gonna have to use these two. 
next turn, and the last one will be a master to be able to grab some uh, in-game stuff, so that'll be two masters. I like that idea. All right. Okay. So, Madam Dewberry, it is your honor, as is customary, first player. She's going to fund a firework. It's going to be the cheapest firework possible. That's what that represents, so okay. Seems appropriate. She starts looking at fireworks now. It's a long reach, y'all. There we go. Long arms, but only so long. Okay, so... We're going to spend five, spend the master to hire. Now, for master spots here, we currently have one in a master spot. So if we get one more, that'd be good. But honestly, I think I want that one first, the master for us. And that's going to get us an extra, what, five, I said, right now. Or the cheaper decoration. I think we actually go with the cheaper decoration. But. These require masters. I think the cheaper decoration might make more sense. But if that's the case, then we have to build this one, which means we need to get, need to build it with this one which then means we need to go with this first and then hopefully doesn't build it. Yeah, I think we go that route. I, th I don't know. You know what? The master gives us flexibility because then we can come after that later if we want. All right, done. Final answer. All right, Madam Dewberry, your honor. Yeah! Well, it's a good thing we did because going to build the far right one and the far right one is that one. So this, the other one requires a master. Good thing we did. All right, well, where's it gonna be? In the top right room, okay. There's no master spot, so she will take the $2 spot, but she doesn't get any money. Castles of Burgundy. Um, all right, well, if we want the five pointer, we need two orange silk. So I guess we will go ahead and take that action then. Because we want this one, we have the thread and we need orange. So this can get us two. So it'll be two, then three total. We'll take this one and this one. And that'll be three, seven back. Done. Hiring the far left. Well, taking the in game scoring card. So that will come over there and this will go there all right so i'm not going to take the risk you know what this lasts till next round though and i really like that ten dollar discount for the decoration
Yep, we're gonna pay the one, because this one will survive, provided she doesn't build, uh, create it. We're gonna hire that for the $10 discount, and then I'll get five more dollars, five more livre for that. Because I have one, two, three, four, five dresses out there. All right. She's gonna take the middle resource of each of them, okay? Whew. All right. Now. Do we get a bunch of, we're going to get one more resource, which is a while. Do we grab one of the pink ones? What colors do we have? We have pink. Pink, pink, orange, and green. Yeah. Huh. Two, 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 three. Hmm. Or does he fund a decoration for 13 up there? That's tempting. Uh... I literally cannot make any of the outfits right now. Those are masters, that's a master, and I don't have fabric for the rest of them. So, I think we're gonna fund two more decorations up top. So I think that's gonna be both decorations. So I think this is going to be just fabric. So I'll take the double pink and then the draw there. Yeah, and the draw is a couple of green. That actually worked out really, really well. That may change what we do then. So that was excellent by him. And Madame Duberry, I think I have it there, there we go. All right, ah, gets the last statue down there. That's a bummer. I was trying to go for that, but that goes there. All right, so now. I think we go regular decoration. I think so. I think we go for those two. So that's going to be 27. I'm here, ready to help. Minus 10, which is 17. And that'll be those two. Done. All right. So, receive income. So, five plus everything that's out there. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Twenty-two, twenty-three. There we go. All right. Favor, nobody took it, that goes away. Here we go, final employees of the game. 
Uh, 11 points for us. We should try and get that. For how many cards you have in your uh, total. How much cash you have, or check that. Spend as many times as you want, three uh, livre for a point. And this is sets of pink orange plus a blue green, two points, which that one's not so great for us. And this one, uh, to answer Dimitri's question from way back, why? Because that right there. Okay, all right. So now we will fill the market one last time and that one will go away. We'll just do it all at once. Ooh, nailed it, drew the right amount. And the dress. All right. The 11 pointer. What's the 11 pointer? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah. That's going to be action number one for sure. One, two, three, four. We have those two for sure. And it's going to be a master. We know that. Um, nothing else makes sense for us, I don't think. I don't think. So just grabbing all the masters out. So let's go through these. The That's... Not gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna be a master. I'm just not even gonna bother because I only uh, I would only have one master then, potentially. So, no. How many decorations do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's worth seven. So that's potential. No. This is going to be worth two. Okay, moving on. Uh, points. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's worth three points or seven livre. I don't know, and that's worth five. So it's going to be one of those two. Uh, we might build one more, and do we need the money? I don't think we will. So I think we take the point one. There we go. Okay. All right, so here we go. Madam Dubarry, your honor, ma'am. Who takes the master? There, there, and there. Okay. So we need to do this, and we need to get that, but that's 11 points. That's 15 points. But the difference is three. I think we have to do that. So we'll use this master. That'll spend three livre for that to get this. And the blue backgrounds are always end game scoring, so it's nothing during the game. Whew. All right. Madam Dubarry. Going to uh, construct the fifth from the right. One, two, three, four, and five. And where's it going to be? Top left room. Okay. Master spot. Okay. 
I don't think we care about either of those, so we're going to use our master to build that orange here. The orange is going to be that and these, and it's free and done, and it's a master, so I think we put it in a master spot in King Louis's room. So that will go right there, because tiebreaker. That is done, that, that, and then for every two decorations, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so for uh, three points. Oh, you're right. That's a bummer. Okay. Oh, that means we can't build any more. Oh, mistakes have been made. So be it. All right. Madam Dewberry is going to take the far right resources on all of them. Uh, <laughs> so all we can do is get resources, fund decorations, or depute. So he's going to fund a decoration. He's going to spend 17 of the 20 that I have. And that's going to go right there because tiebreaker. Oh, it's going to be tight. All right. Madam Dubarry. Hiring the far left. You stop doing that. And for our last action, do we depute this? Like, what? We, we have three. We could get some resources, but I don't see the point. Because he can't make any. I think we depute him. We get the bottom. Uh, so we get six, which is going to be... Ooh, no, no. We'll do it. That's six. So he's out of the game. Madam Dewberry, it's all yours. Hiring the last one? Of course she is. All right. Second from the right is going to be this one. And where is it going to be? The bottom left room. She already had the tiebreaker, so at least there's that. And the last action of the game, doesn't matter. Far left resources, that, 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 but it is an impressive array of resources that she has powered through. Okay, so a moment. Okay. Um, after the collect income phase of the seventh round. All right, so we still get our income. So it's going to be a base of five, six, seven, eight, nope, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Make that 20. All right, now we go into final scoring. Yes, I, I have plenty, uh, Ian. All right, so let's take a look at the end game stuff up here in the top right hand corner, okay? All right, first convert Libra, 10 Libra into a point. Well, I have 18. Check that, I have 28. 
So that's two points. Okay, done. And by the way, Madame Dubarry scores just like we do, it says. Um, oh, and she gets one point for every two resource tiles she's collected throughout the game, which is going to be painful. Um, but I digress. So looking up there, uh, calculate any bonuses from employee cards of your, so the blue stuff at the end game, at the, uh, at the end game points. Uh, and if I have the queen's favor, it's worth three points. I do not. So end game, I only have one of them. And to be clear, gather up all of my cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's plenty. That'd be 11 for me. Okay, so 11 and 7 is 18. There we go. However, Madame Newberry, now we go through her deck. All right, so let's see. Those are starter cards, don't matter. No, no, just looking for the blue, those. That one, that one, and that one. All right. So we'll start here. She has one full set. That's going to be worth three points. And I'm just going to keep track so I only have to move it once. So that one is done. Okay. And in master spots, for every two that are in master spots for her, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, four of those, that's going to be 12. That'll be 15 points for those. Okay. And then for every male and female match out there, every male and female pair. So, let's count the females. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine females. Okay. How many males? That's not. Oops. My bad. One. One. So one pair for two points. So that's going to be a total of 17 points for that. Okay. 17 and 9 is 28. There we go. All right. So that is her cards. All right. So next is majority in the five halls. Okay. So that's what this is showing right here. The tiebreaker is master spots and then musicians, okay? So we'll just do it left to right. So there are obviously two here to my one, so that's gonna be two to one. And again, I'll just do it point-wise. I'll, uh, I'll be on the left, she'll be on the right. So she's got two to one. The main room, two to one is me, so that's gonna be six to two. Two for her, six for me. Okay, then over here, clearly it's her. Um, however, hold on. Garment rentals. Only the player who wins the majority. Uh, nobody receives second place. So check that. I lose one, she loses two. I lose one, she loses. I lose one, she loses two. Okay. So no second place. So here, it's going to be three for her. That's going to be five. Uh, three to two, so she wins that. That's going to be four. And here, we're tied. We both have a master spot. And I have the musician, so I win. That's going to be a nickel for yours, truly. So that's going to be 11 for me, nine for her. 11 is going to be 29. 
and nine is one, two, and seven. All right, so that's done. Yeah, I do. Yeah, like I need a croupier thing here. All right, anyway. So that's here. Now we're going to go for fireworks. Depending on the side of the board, da 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 da, play with the second most, right? Um, wait, what? Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Let's, uh, I got ahead of myself. Who has the most first or set, right? So I have three. Uh, the game has one, so I'm going to get six. She will get none. So six will be there. And now each player can assign one of their garments from the Royal Hall to the, uh, up top. So, I will put that there, I will put that there, dumb, and that will go there. Okay. Oh, two less for the bot. Oh, okay. So we're tied. Check that, because math. All right, so five times three is 15. Two times two is four, that's 19 for me. Three times two, that's six for the bot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we said that's 15 and 19. 19, go back one, and 20 is 54. Okay, done there. Now, statues. So, Statues here. For each of your tokens on the statue, you earn two points for every different color garment on your board up to four. Okay? So you'll notice I have one, she has two. So how many different colors do we have out here for us? We have pink, orange, green, pink, orange, pink. Did I not get any blue? I got no blue, really, the most common, really. Green, orange, pink. Yeah, I got three. So that's gonna be two points a piece. That's gonna be six points. All right, it's going to be four points a piece for each color for her. Blue, green, blue, green, done. Pink, blue, green, blue, three, four points a piece, 12 points. That'd be 41 to 53. Okay. And then trademark scoring here. Okay. Uh, score prestige points for all trademark tokens on garments, decorations, and all hand bonus. Begin with the star player, da 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 da. Most occupied spaces will directly show uh, the prestige points they show at the bottom. Right. Okay. So we've already counted those that are up there. So we'll give it. We'll give it to. Uh, we'll give it to the game first. So here we go. That's going to be two, six, eight, nine. 10, 11. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. And ten is twenty-six. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. And like I said, we've already scored these. So 34 for the game. 87. All right, we've already scored all of the, uh, yeah, that doesn't count. We scored those. So six, eight, 
12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 is 84. I have to use different garments, you're right. So there. So that's where we're at. So the bot wins, but we're not done. And this is the painful part. Two points for each of these. Two, <laughs> uh, five, 10, 15, 24, that'd uh, be 48. 48 back to is 50, uh, 133. So uh, Madame Dewberry wins 133 to 84. Smoked like a pack of cools. How the hell do you overcome the resource gap? Oh my. Like... Ouch. I mean, I thought I was competitive. She whooped me. Now, obviously, there it, there is a randomness to the drawing, right? And I should I should point this out, and I, I think it's important to go over this real quick. I scored resources wrong. How do you figure? It's not what it's possible. In addition, she scores one prestige for every two. Oh, okay. So instead of 48, it's 12. Okay, that's better. Hold on. Had a lead of me on by two. It's one for every two. She had 24, so she gets 12 more points. Okay, that's 98. That's a little doable. Okay. Okay. Whew. That's that's better. Okay. My bad. I did it the opposite. Um, on that note. Uh, I did want to kind of show the distribution of Madame, uh, uh, Madame DuBerry's cards. So what do we have here? Okay, so there are three, four, five, six, there are seven resource cards, there are six hirings, there are seven tailorings, three decorations, and two queen's favor. Okay, all right. Better use of the statue uh, of the yeah of the of the fireworks that could have been potentially eight more points. So yeah, yeah, I think it was it was close. Uh, I'm okay. Getting a blue dress out there for being able to differentiate would have made it closer. So yeah, I loved it. Legitimately loved it. I love how quickly the bot takes its turns. It's super low overhead for the solo. Absolutely loved it. I. I really, really enjoy this game as a multiplayer game. I absolutely love it as a solo. Cannot say enough good things. Y'all just watched it. You saw. Uh, fantastic solo experience. Um, and I believe the designers, was it Stefan and Louie? Yeah, 
They're the ones, uh, Stefan and Louis Malls are the ones that also did the, uh, the solo mode for this. So I don't know that they could have done a better job with it. That is super low overhead and super simple, super easy, super quick, which is what you want from an AI. And difficult, right? Gives you a challenge. That's what you want. So production quality, it's Eagle Griffin. We expect that, honestly, which I feel like does that them a disservice. Let's face it. This is ridiculous how good the production quality is on it. Screen printed wooden bits. I mean, super, you can see, even without being zoomed in, how thick the cardboard is for the money and everything on this. I mean, you have these for, they're like, they're, I guess they're plastic. I, I don't know what they are, but for the lace, these are metal. Um, they're gorgeous. The little spools here. The cards are linen finished. They're gorgeous. Like, just 100%, just fantastic. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about the production quality. The rule book is laid out really, really well. Super simple. Uh, it separates the jewelry box uh, uh, rules towards the back. But the solo bot rules incorporate the jewelry, bo uh, jewelry box expansion in the rules for the solo as well. Can't say enough good things. Um, yeah, it, it, it is a bit of a hog table wise. It is a large board. Um, it's a six fold board, but probably about the same size as like a uh, dominant species board. It is large, but if that's my biggest complaint, I think we're doing all right. Yeah, I mean, I realize for those that don't like the deluxe edition stuff, it's spendy. I get that. But value-wise, I mean, the quality is there. So there's that. All right. There we go. All right. There you go. That's it. I will be back tomorrow for Lost Ruins of Arnak solo. And then we're going to have a lot of multiplayer stuff coming next week. So be sure to tune in for that. Definitely appreciate y'all hanging out. Thank you. A good way to spend a Saturday. If I can't hang out with Jess, this is a uh, rather hang out with y'all. So thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Social distance. Wear your mask. Be kind to one another. And uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Consider supporting the show over on patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. And if you pick up a copy over at Eagle Griffin, tell them where you saw it. Definitely would appreciate it. All right? So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow, 1500, Lost Ruins of Arnak. Take care, everybody. I can handle losing. I just didn't want to get whomped on. And whew, whew, thank you, Peanut Gallery, for pointing out that I got that, the scoring wrong there at the end. I mean, 98 to 84. Okay, still a loss, but at least it's respectable, right? <laughs>